Okay, so Oppo made a new X series smartphone. This is Oppo Find X6 and X6 Pro. These phones have been so a uh, good highlight for the camera, and they are basically highlighting the cameras and uh, looking forward with it. There isn't any chances that this phone are going to be going globally for each and every market currently. They are available in China. I don't know anything about the future, but yeah, this I kind of say a really cool type of smartphone from Oppo. They find X series. And this is Oppo Find X and X6 Pro, which I told you. This Captain India, you're watching Kavas India. Let's just get started. Let's start off with the Oppo Find X6. Uh, this guy is having a really, really good display. This is a 6.74 inches of a 1450 nits of peak brightness, 1450 nits. Even it is an AMOLED and having a 120 hertz of support, which is kind of a really, really nice. Talking about the operating system, then this guy is rocking itself with the Android 13 out of the box with their very own operating system on the top of it which is ColorOS 13.1 talking about the processor then this guy is rocking itself with the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 talking about the GPU it is the e models GPU and kind of say this processor is the really aggressive in terms of its own type of capabilities talking about the RAM and ROM then this guy is rocking itself with the two different options over here 12 GB RAM with 256 GB of internal storage and 16 GB of RAM with a 512 GB of internal storage. Talking about the storage type, then this guy is rocking itself with a UFS 4.0, which is kind of a say really, really fast in terms of the on paper specifications. Talking about the battery, then you're going to get is a 4800 mAh with the polythene battery, and in cell the box, you will be getting is a 80 watt of power adapter. There isn't any wireless or reverse wireless charging supported. Also on the top of it, this guy is rocking a Type-C port from which you can charge your phone. Talking about the cameras of this guy, this guy is rocking itself with a triple camera setup of 50 megapixel, 50 plus 50 plus 50 basically, 50 megapixel wide sensor at 1.8 aperture with the OIS, 15 megapixel periscope telephoto with the support of OIS 2 and over there which is a really nice thing talking about the third camera it is a ultrawide sensor of 15 megapixel kind of a really really nice talking about the video recording 4k 60 fps 1080 with 240 fps and some labels about the cameras for the front side then you're going to get is a 32 megapixel f1.6 aperture which is kind of a really nice a wide sensor 1080p at 30 fps is a video recording i might say that uh, if it is having 60 or more than that 120 then it's gonna be nicer and even there should be a 4k for the front side too but it is not even over here and also following for the rear side there should be at least 8k 24 fps but um, in a couple of phones coming up in this uh, 2023 there isn't any support for the 8k in lot of phones uh, not majorly but in lot of phones Now let's talk about the Oppo Find X6 Pro. This guy is rocking a really really tall display, a near to 7 inches which is a 6.82 inches of LTV 3 AMOLED at 120Hz with a peak brightness of 2500 nits. This is a really really good display. Talking about the processor, then this guy is rocking itself with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Kind of a safe phone, Adreno 7, uh, 740 is the GPU basically. Uh, talking about the storage and the RAM, there is one new option over here, 16 to 56. And um, yeah, it is kind of a safe, really nice. They have kept uh, one new barrier in between. So if you want the 256 GB, and that might be a really good option to get into a 16 GB of RAM. Talking about the battery, then this guy is rocking itself with a 100 watt of power adapter inside the box which is kind of a really nice of 5000 mAh battery it is a lithium ion and this is having a type c 3.14 charging and a 50 watt of wireless charging and a 10 watt of reverse wireless charging kind of a really really nice okay so now let's talk about this uh, oppo find x6 and x6 pro firstly the oppo find x6 
In terms of the design, Oppo has followed that traditional new type of look and each and every time they try to amaze and we all get amazed with that design. At a first glance, it's hard to adopt that design, that design but yeah, it's nice. Talking about the kind of say, these guys aren't having any type of headphone jack and uh, talking about the um, gaming type of capabilities, uh, this Oppo Find X6 will be having a smooth type of gaming experience. But still, this phone isn't completely designed and catch up for the gaming. They are trying to make sure that the productivity, game, um, designing and uh, camera work should be easily capable and so it is targeting that type of audience. But yeah, still, you can get some of the coolest gaming done on this guy with the Dimensity 9200 following the 120Hz and uh, even the battery capabilities will be really nice because of the 9200 and uh, it is having a really nice tire of the gaming too. Talking about the X6 Pro and I will talk about some of the drawbacks too, wait for it. But the Oppo Find X6 Pro is completely perfect. Uh, talking about the cameras, they are on own paper specifications, really really nice. 50 megapixel ultra wide we aren't seen from around a couple of years now. And uh, following that laser autofocus for the 50 megapixel which is a kind of say really nice. 32 megapixel selfie is uh, really good but there is one new drawback which will be talked about in a bit. And talking about one of the kind of a say really nice thing the both of these guys are having the bluetooth 5.3 support kind of a say really really nice i don't mention bluetooth uh, connectivity and stuff but yeah these guys are having a kind of a bluetooth 5.3 nice that's why i mentioned basically uh, another thing on the top uh, design is always been so personality and this time oppo find x6 pro has uh, taken that thing and uh, they try to create an image which is uh, really nicely giving itself because of the display the um, the battery and uh, processor three of them are completely balanced 2500 needs of peak brightness uh, mostly um if you go out in the very very sunny day then even also your screen will be visible talking about the snapdragon 8 gen 2 it uh, no doubt it is a flagship processor from the snapdragon and you can do a really aggressive gaming on this guy too and talking about the 5000 mAh battery even if you run out within a day there is a 100 watt of power adapter inside the box and uh, might be within a minutes or few you will your phone will be completely charged up. but there are some kind of say slightly type of stuff which if open had kept in under that surveillance that can't be really nice uh, firstly the 8k support for the rear cameras if both of the phones have the 8k support uh, none of them is having basically then it going to be really nice and uh, the front camera is also lacking behind the support of the 1080p 60fps and 4k you there isn't having a 4k too so it is kind of a really nice a really bad thing not a nice thing and um there's both the guys are having the only and only optical under display fingerprint scanner and to be frank i was thinking that a supersonic or ultrasonic fingerprint scanner will be adopted by the oppo but uh, i don't know what they are planning but under the hood oppo is doing this kind of small sort of innovation and this complete camera bracket is powered by the Hasselblad or you can see customized by the Hasselblad so you will be having its own some of the top of uh, top of the sprinkles of the Hasselblad so you can experience those out so yeah it's a kind of a really nice phone you can hop on hop on both of the guys both can shoot a really good uh, um, photos really good videos will be there output from these guys and uh, fortunately if you are taking a lot of ultra wide photos then uh, I will recommend going ahead with the Oppo Find X X Pro because it is completely balanced so yeah, it's a completely nice phone, but uh, as I told you, 8K, 4K are lacking behind in some of the factors, and uh, it's a nice phone basically on some of the features. So many people are still with the 1080p. Um, they try to 1080p is good also on the another hand. So um, yeah, it might satisfy their needs. So yeah, so Oppo Find X6 Pro and the X6 are completely nice phone. This was Captain India. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, go on the appreciate and let me know what do you think about this both the guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe, stay connected. Peace out.